Hello and welcome back. So I got home from work today and reached in the bucket of locks that I got from West Coast Pick and pulled out a challenge lock. Uh, let's see what we have here. Um, we have Rufus by West Coast Picks and it is, <laughs> he's even engraved uh, WCP on the key. That's cool. Uh, it's the RA Keyway. It's a sergeant. Um, looks like he's uh, crossed out maybe the bidding. I don't know. Uh, but at any rate, it doesn't matter. We don't really need the key. It's mummied anyway. And you know, uh, This is a picking channel. So, um, <laughs> it is definitely a sergeant though. That is a sergeant Keyway. So we're going to put it in the vise and let's see what we can do with it there. Um, let's see here. Move you guys up so you guys can see. Let's get this all set up. Uh, let's see here. Ooh, gotta tighten my vice up a little bit. <laughs> Wobbly tonight. There we go. Um, let's see. Top of the keyway. Should be able to use that 50 thousandths that I got from West Coast Picks. Thank you again for these awesome tools, man. I appreciate it. Thank you again for the locks, too. Um, your locks are always awesome, man, and you are awesome. Uh, you know, give away all these extra locks for us to do things with for our channels, and I mean, I can't say enough about you. I, I really appreciate you. West Coast Picks, you are, uh, you are the man, so, um, just keep doing what you're doing, man, because you're awesome. I think I'm going to try my gym, um, Peterson Gym. Because that's what I usually like in these sergeants. Um, you kind of have to go pretty heavy tension on sergeants usually. Um, even though it is a challenge lock. Um, they usually like heavy tension. So, um, But we're going to give that a shot. Um, I'm going to do what I always do, which is starting the back of the lock. Um, let's move around here a little bit so you guys can see what we're doing. Um, and I'll pull forward and search for a binder. There's like three maybe? No. Nope. Oh, okay, there was a little bit on two, I think, actually. Let's see here. Oh, ah, I think I just overset four. There we go, I let off and got a little bit of a false set. Um, sometimes it pays off to overset and re reset. I think one's giving me counter. Okay, I got him set. Um, let's see here. Oh, touched one and went really deep. Um, that was five. Went even deeper. I'm guessing he's got wedding cake pins in here. Um, because that's usually how those react. Um, when you touch something and it just goes deeper and deeper. Um, I think I'm getting counter on three. Okay. There's a spool in three, I think. Um, let's see here. I got a really deep false set here. I'm guessing I'm being held up by a T pin. Um, oh, I just touched five. Um, yeah, awesome lock, man. Uh, quite a bit of feedback there. So, uh, but it is picked. So let's gut it and see what West Coast picks put in uh, Rufus. Let's see here. Uh, zoom out. Oh, I am zoomed out. Okay, I'll well, we'll just do that. It's uh. We're going to square you guys up anyways. Get my pinning tray ready here. Keep that all in frame. And move this over here. Put this forward. There we go. Set that up there for a minute. Let's move you guys around so you can see what we got going on here in this lock. Um, Alright, I've got a uh, Phillips head on the back, so we will take that off. Try not to lock it back up since I have a key, but it is mummy. Let's get that key over here. There, Rufus. There we go. Trying to do it through the viewfinder, I can't see. Alright, um... Like I was saying though, um, man, I I appreciate all the locks. I appreciate the uh, the tools. I mean, just I can't say enough. If you guys haven't checked out West Coast Picks, and I think he's starting to do something live. I got 
um, messages when I woke up this morning. He does things a little bit late because, you know, he works odd hours kind of like most of us. But um, I think he's starting to do some kind of live show thing, which is going to be really cool. I had considered doing that, but I'd have to use my phone. Um, I have shimmed this. Let's uh, go from the top. There we go. All right. Um, yeah, everything needed to be picked. So uh, definitely um, doesn't look like he's done a whole lot to the uh, plug. But um, bidding and keyway make a huge difference. Um, that was a one serration. Um, another serrated pen. Another serrated pen. Another serrated pen. Another serrated pen. And this one is tapered. That's like a Lockwood pen. Um, good looking pins here too. Nice sharp serrations. Um, again, nothing done in the uh, plug. All smooth there, so. Um, and then, I'm moving my tripod here. There we go. Uh, let's look and see what he's got up top here. Uh, let's get that shim out of there. And grab my tweezers, which are right where they belong. Alright, now we have... A pin and pen. Wow, okay. We have a pin and pen with serrations on the outer. Well, if I can get it apart here. There we go. I'll set that up the way it was set up. And uh, it's kind of a step down with a serration. Awesome looking pen there. Um, oop, okay, and then we have a spool, very short spool, and two. We have a serrated and three. Another spool. Well, no, uh, yeah, that's like a serrated spool. There's, it's a spool, but it's got serrations in the middle. Uh, let's take five and six from the back. I'm gonna make sure I get them out slowly here. Okay. Six was kind of a standard, but I think he's tapered. And okay, there we go. A sure enough wedding cake pen. I thought I felt one of those. <laughs> it's a pretty safe bet. I mean, it is a West Coast Pix lock. <laughs> he's pretty uh, pretty known for those. Those are. He's definitely made them more popular than any person that I've picked locks of. I think. Okay, that was spring out of six. Which I bumped my spool there. Um, spring out of five. It's copper. Three. Take the other ones out the front. That was out of one. Is a nice high. Loosely wound copper. Looks like we got another steel one in two if I can get him out. Okay, that was in two, and that should just leave three. And he is a very short copper spring. Um, nothing done upstairs. Not seeing any threading. Yeah, nothing. I don't see anything. Let me double check here. Pick, but I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's all smooth. All right. Um, yeah, nothing done to the plug. Nothing done to the core. I mean, to the uh, Bible. And uh, but we got some pretty awesome pens going on here. So let's see if I can get these arranged where you guys can see them really good. There we go. Okay. Let's zoom in. Show you these awesome pens by West Coast Picks. Um, that one's actually upside down. Oop, come on now. There we go. Um, we have a serrated in one, uh, serrated in two for the key pen, a serrated T pin key pin in three, another serrated in 
four, a serrated in five, and a tapered in six for the key pins. Then up top we have a pin and pin. Um, let's see if I can get this to show you guys. As you guys can see, that collar for the pin and pin is serrated. Nice looking pin, and it's actually a reduced diameter on the bottom, so it kind of acts as a T pin. But then this goes all the way through and acts as a T pin as well. So awesome pin there on that one. I like that. That's that's pretty cool. Um, then we have a uh, spool, then a serrated, a serrated spool, a wedding cake pin, and then in uh, looks like a tapered pin. In, uh, which would be a taper on top of taper, which is really um, tricky, makes you overset. Um, and then up top in the springs, oops, hold on. Up top in the springs, it looks like we have a copper steel, another copper uh, steel, a long copper, and a, another steel. All different kinds of springs. So, awesome lock there by West Coast Picks. Thank you very much for making it and sending it to me. Um, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for your time, and well, don't break the lock.